Welcome to Rufus's Rampage episode of Say, and there are some unexpected surprises in here, and I encourage you all to stay around to the end of the episode, and there's some in there for you. Let's get into it. What is up, everybody? It is Milro here, back with Rufus's Rampage, Episode 7. In case you missed the uh, last episode, we uh, left off on Horde Night, and we are picking right up after the Horde Night. And it is uh, time to leave. Just gonna throw these wood frames here, and I have my little bug out box for uh, leaving uh, here. I've been playing this. We gotta get moving, so as much as I don't want to uh, leave, it, it pains me. We gotta get moving, and we're planning on, I'm planning on going over to this area here and uh, seeing what's uh, uh, there. Hopefully find a town and find, a, find some place to uh, set up shop. With all that being said, I will meet you once I am on that road. We're not coming up on the road here, I'm going south. And I do want to say I have up the difficulty a little bit from uh, from uh, previous week to Nomad difficulty, and I have tuned the airdrops now down to every three days of because you know airdrops kind of getting a little crazy and. In the last episode, I did ask you guys uh, you know, if you preferred the uh, the longer uh, episode, uh, well, the longer kind of content with uh, going uh, from you know doing like four o'clock to uh, like on like day eight, like this episode is going to be to uh, about midday of uh, day nine for. Uh, to keep it more interesting and and only one of you commented that being Rufus himself that he did request uh, that I do the and do the old uh, do that longer form content you know and you know he was the only one that commented so but he is also the one that uh, basically inspired this uh, to be a thing and uh uh, so, gonna go with his word on that one, and he, uh... So... That's what I'm gonna be doing now, and I think it'll help, uh... Kind of go through the days more and advance the game better. Having zombies, uh... Kind of just spawn in, and it's like... As I'm running, I'm keeping beer going. It's like, hoping this road will give me a... A town at the very least, uh, not, and it's like, if I get a town, then I can definitely set up, day's getting a little bit hazy, got some clouds in between the sun, I don't know, maybe, if the worst comes to worst, then I'll go to, uh, uh, one of the gravel paths and we'll roam down there. Nope. Hi, Psycho Steve. Uh, do do do. We got some crossroads coming up. I don't really want to raid this car because of, uh, and I'm already full on inventory. It's like, we do have the forged iron, the raw iron forged with me along with my medical stuff and also the um, grill for when I need to make a campfire again. Hello, Penny. There you go, sweetie. Take those painkillers, though. I have, like, a whole stack of painkillers. There we go, Marla. Right, if you just want to keep giving me painkillers, that... That'd be fine, too. Now, where to go on this crossroad? I'm thinking 
go to the left because it looks like there might be a town up there. It kind of looks like one of those cliff sides for a town. If you know the full gen, that, that would, uh, that you kind of know what I'm talking about on this version. And to get a couple beers, that's what I'm using to keep myself running. You know, let's just keep roaming down here. Got a chicken doing a dance. Do I have any rami on me? No, but I do have some uh, grilled meat. Just eat that real quick. Got Annie uh, wandering behind me. Take her out real quick. Oh, there you go. I will definitely take the 762s. Eat a can of sham. Thanks for the snack, Annie. Oh, who's up here? Another Annie. Take you out real quick. There you go. Even more painkillers. At this point, with the 200% loot, if I keep finding painkillers, I'll be able just to just sell them to traders, because uh, I know they're not the best uh, way to make money in the game, but... That's like, uh, especially like when I used to play 200% uh, loot, you know, just getting used to the game, like, uh, I would just find stacks upon stacks of painkillers. And there's Steve, and there's Charlie. They're all making the rounds. I wonder, it looks like it might be more forest biome. Up to Athletics 20. Invest into some more sexy T-Rex uh, for even more stamina re regen. I can never have too much of that. <laughs> well, uh, let's see what's up this hill. Well, this is a little unusual. World gen, uh, kind of funky. I think the road just... Oh, I thought the road just suddenly ended off and it was because it was crossing up here. Oh, got an airdrop. I could have sworn I turned that to 72 hours. After, you know, when I do the next episode, I will make absolutely sure that is uh, turned down. Maybe it'll kick in after the, uh, the day... Uh, after this day, because I was technically, because I did forget, like, you know, while sprinting over to, uh, turn off, uh, which will turn on, uh, every three days. Hello, Mikey. How's your day? Oh, good to hear. Come on. And there you go. Do you have a traitor nearby? Anything uh, we could stop over and uh, say, uh, see who it is. Let's see here. Not gonna do the airdrop because I uh, don't really want to. Okay, it's Trader Wrecked. Ironically enough. There, yeah, it's Trader Wrecked. It, if you if you watched my last episode of uh, Challenge Master, if you watched the past couple episodes, like I found Trader Bob, and uh, first, and then I found Trader Rex second, which okay, that's that's a little unusual. Time is money. Not as However, a fan. You don't have any. Yes, you're right. I don't have any money. Yeah, oh well. Yourself, stranger. I know some fellers who break legs for corn. Yeah, 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 Trader Rick, you're, you're all talk. Pick up these ears of corn. That's nice about this version. You can actually pick up their, uh, their, their spare crops. Um, uh, only a couple ears of corn, but it's still something. Don't forget to close the door. Or at least be somewhat respectful of Trader Rick. Well, let's see. Are any rooming through? 
I did see a a graveyard. So if any if push comes to shove, I could just use that as my operating base. I'll show you in just a second here. It's just before I diverged off the out the path. Ooh, looks like wasteland biome I'm coming up. Yeah, this is a cemetery with the uh, little church. If anything, it could serve. It could serve as a, the day fourteen ward base. I don't really feel like going to wasteland because of dogs. So yeah, I'm gonna go roam down the road. Uh, I'm going south, and I will let you know if I find anything interesting. Well, damn, following the road here to the south that immediately curved off into the wasteland, but... Oh, and here's, here comes a dog. Oh, headshot him. And here comes another one. <laughs> What I was gonna say is it looks like we got a oh we got look, looks to be a crossroads. Um, do I? I'd like to clear out the dog, but crossroads uh, works uh, too for. I was having a bit of deja vu for a second for because of the. Uh, Days in suites and the passing gas. They're in a different position, but. Okay. Take care of the dog problem real quick. Take a med kit. Scared the crap out of me. I mean, what do I expect? It's dogs. But this definitely works. It you know gives me a bit of loot and and stuff and and well <laughs> let me just time lapse kill all these zombies while I think about what to do here. I said I didn't want to go into the uh, wasteland because of the dogs, and well, I died due to the dogs. Even though I have a handgun, I bled. And it caused me to bleed, and I and I proceeded to uh, bleed out. Well, crap. Since I have, well, since I have creative menu, I'm kind of thinking about you know just going back to the old forge house and and just blowing it up. It's like I really don't. It's like because this is a permadeath series, so I was expecting to survive longer than this, uh, but. Well, that's a, and that's a unexpected. <laughs> Was not expecting this to end so soon. So I'm gonna just go back over to the old horde base, uh, the old house, and I'm going to, uh, and before I cut it, before I make it over there, uh, please tell me in the comments down below what kind of series you would like to do next because now I'm going to have to rely on Challenge Master for at least a couple days and 
Anything is appreciated. It's like I'm willing to give myself a challenge, and this definitely was a challenge. <laughs> but actually, I don't really need to get it. It's it's right over here. But let me do some preparations real quick, and I'm going to, and I'll be back in a second. I wasn't planning it like that, but I was setting up for the, uh, full finale here on the explosion of the house, uh, but... Otherwise I would have had my mic turned on earlier. Let me just clear out these two clowns. But yeah, that's the... <laughs> to put it bluntly, that is the end of the Rufus's Rampage. That is... It is all gone, is is some people some of you might ask, you know, like if you've seen the hunter you probably recognize uh you know that I have a rule of the saying uh you know that I don't make a permadeath unless it's within the first two weeks, you know, I die within the first two weeks, yeah. But you have to remember that Rufus actually is the one who suggested permadeath. So I am playing by his rules. It's like, I am the content creator, and yes, I do have a say in what goes on this channel. But this was his, this was his suggestion, and it is permadeath. So, and I did have the creative mode enabled by accident. But yeah, nice big old crater here. I did just blow it up with TNT and, well, the damn zombies blew it up. Uh, but, oh well, that's no big deal. And now before all y'all leave, I did want to say that at the time this video goes up, I will be making a, and I will have a Discord server available for you guys. Uh, and I will link it in the, in, in the description of the video, so please go check it out, and if you want to chat with me personally, because I will, because that will be a very good way to reach me on, and I can take suggestions from you guys, so please do check it out and join, and you know, that way you can chat with me outside of YouTube. I don't use Twitter, it's like, uh, don't even have an account, it's like, the only reason I know the Twitter updates from the Fun Pimps is because of the, is because of the 7 Days to Die official Discord server, so it's like, uh, that's how I get my information, it's like, I just don't care to use Twitter or X, and, but Discord is the absolute best way to talk to me, so, I do hope to see you in the Discord, and and I will hope to see you in Challenge Master and future series. Have a great day, everybody, and <laughs> take care.